The Battle of the Boyne was a major conflict that took place on July 1st, 1690, old style calendar, along the River Boyne in Ireland. It was fought between the forces of the deposed Catholic King James II and those of the Protestant King William III, also known as William of Orange. Here are the key details about this historically significant battle. It was part of the Williamite War in Ireland, 1688-1691, which itself was part of the wider Nine Years' War, 1688-1697, between Louis XIV's France and the Grand Alliance of several European powers, including England, the Dutch Republic, and others. After being deposed in the Glorious Revolution of 1688, the Catholic James II sought to regain the British thrones with support from Catholic Ireland and military aid from France. William III, the Protestant son-in-law of James II, led an army to Ireland to oppose him. James's army of around 23,500 men, mostly Irish Catholics with French reinforcements, took up a defensive position along the south bank of the River Boyne, near the town of Drogheda. William's forces numbered around 36,000, a mix of English, Scottish, Dutch, Danish and Huguenot soldiers. On July the 1st, they crossed the river at Oldbridge and engaged James's army. After fierce fighting, William's forces prevailed, forcing James to flee to France. Though not a complete rout, it was a decisive defeat that ended James's hopes of regaining the British crowns. The battle secured Protestant dominance in Ireland until the 20th century and helped ensure the continuation of the constitutional monarchy in Britain, limiting absolute royal power. It was the last time two rival claimants to the British throne led their armies in battle against each other. The Battle of the Boyne remains an iconic event, especially for Protestant Unionists in Northern Ireland, who commemorate it annually on July 12th. So in summary, while not the largest or bloodiest battle, the Boyne was a pivotal event that shaped the future course of British and Irish history for centuries to come.